I went to the Courtside RV show looking at different vehicles to see what my next rig is going to be. So I'm exploring, I'm exploring the B-Class Plus of RVs just to see what fits me. This is a Tiffin Wayfair. It's on a Mercedes diesel chassis. It is considered a B-Plus, so it's, not, it's wider than a van, but it's still in the Class B category. I'm not 100% sure the year of this one. It had no information listed, uh, no pricing, but this is definitely a used vehicle. You can see that those chairs actually do swivel around and there is an overhead bunk and there's a ladder up there where the TV is um, on this top overhead bunk area. I'd probably just use that for storage. For seating, there is a recliner, uh, basic recliners and that hole in the ground is for a table. So there's basic receipt re re recliners. So from a kitchen perspective, I'd say this galley's pretty small, but that's okay. This vehicle is a lot smaller. It's only 25 feet long. I'm currently in 32 feet. So soft clothes, cabinetry, Decent cabinets. That was a two-burner stove, a small microwave. The fridge is decent-sized. I have a double doors now, but this is a, probably about the same um, storage as I have currently. They do keep the components above the refrigerator, which is fine. This is my biggest sticking point. Now, this doesn't look right the way they have it. They don't have the cushions up, but this is the Murphy bed design. So you have seating here. So if you imagine if you had friends, two people sit there, and then what? Two people sit on the sofa and... You don't look at each other, and if you want your bed down, then your sofa goes away. So I'm not sure how I feel about a Murphy bed. I also don't feel think I want a Murphy bed that's in a slide, which means that you probably have to have your slide out to put this Murphy bed down. Or maybe you don't all the way, but um, I'm just very – I hear such mixed reviews. So if you have a Murphy bed in your vehicle and your rig, let me know what you think about having to put your bed up and down every time you use it. I do like the bathrooms out there, and you can sit and have a window right behind your head when you go in the toilet. I don't like that. I love that there's a lot of cabinetry. I don't love that there's no windows in this entire section. Look how just closed off it is back here. So there's the, the holes for the tables. Why I'm pointing at them, I don't know. I'm not an expert. Could you handle having to put your bed up and down every day? Let me know what you think. Tiff and Wayfair. Okay, bye.